Today I'm going to show you guys how to wet block a garment. There's steam blocking and wet blocking. Today I'm going to show you wet blocking. I have another video linked in the video description that shows you how to steam block. I like to steam block garments made with acrylic yarn. I like to wet block garments made with natural fiber, wool, cotton, um, any sort of natural fiber content. So I am, this is my open trails sweater vest knit in worsted weight yarn with Lion Brand Woolies yarn, which is about 20% wool content. So I'm still going to block this even though 80% content is acrylic, but it has a wool content in, in it. So I'm still going to wet block this. Same thing with like Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick. I think that only has 10% wool in it. If it's got any sort of wool in it, I recommend wet blocking. So I'm going to show you the process that I take to wet block the garment. Blocking, wet blocking a garment, blocking garment in general just helps to relax the stitches. It helps to get the garment into the final measurements that you want it to be. And honestly, like if you've got any imperfections, it will make it look a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through how I wet block my garments. All right, I'm in my bathroom. I am going to plug the sink up. I am going to start filling it up with cold water. I'm going to do a few squirts of this no rinse delicate wash um, for your knitted garments. I will link this in the video description. Start filling up your sink. I'm gonna place my, the garment in the sink and just start getting it wet. I'm gonna let the sink fill up here. Fully submerged. Turn the water off, and now I'm just going to let this sit for about 15 minutes. Okay, once this has been in for about 15 minutes, you're going to want to drain the water. This rinse in particular, you don't need to um, rinse it. It says no rinse delicate wash, so it just helps to preserve your garment a little bit more. So I'm just going to squeeze out the excess water without rinsing it. If you have rinse wash that you need to rinse out, feel free to just run the cold water over it again like this. Squeeze out the excess water as much as you can. The goal here is to get as much water out as you can before you lay it flat so you can reduce the drying time. So do what you can in the sink. Try not to twist the garment. You don't want to damage your work. So just try to get as much water out as you can. And then you're gonna to wanna to take a towel. I've got a pretty thick towel here. What I like to do is lay a towel out. This is my blocking towel. And I just roll the vest up, trying to squeeze out as much water as I can in here. Get as much water as you can out. I 
And now we'll go place it on our mat. Okay, I've got my sweater from the towel. And now basically I'm going to take pins. I've got um, a couple different kinds of pins. I'll link all of my supplies for you guys in the video description, my mats, my pins, things like that. Um, and basically these grids are an inch square. So it's easy to determine um, how to pin your garment if it's, if you want it to be, you know, if, if you know you need it to be, if it's a 40 inch circumference, then it should be 20 inches wide. Um, so then you just count the squares and then pin everything, um, based on the size that you want. So I am just going to start pinning at the bottom here. I'll do a few on the bottom and stretch it to the top and Sorry, you can see like this. I'm just gonna start pinning the bottom, making sure I've got everything lining up where it should, measuring where it should. With the ribbing, it usually gets stretched out a little bit more here. All right, so then I get my pins down at the bottom and I'll do some more, but now I'm just gonna make sure it measures what it's supposed to measure. From the underarm, pin it here. Measure up to the top. Pin it at the top here. Then you just keep pinning all the way around, making sure the sweater is the width it's supposed to be, the length it's supposed to be. All right, here's everything pinned down. And what's great about blocking is if your garment is a little off lengthwise, you can block it to be a certain length. You know, obviously you can do that with width as well but um, it just will really help to make sure everything is looking great, the stitches are kind of relaxed, it's fitting the way it should fit. Um, so there you go, there's blocking. I will check back in with you when it is all dry and show you what it looks like once we're done blocking. So you can just let it air dry now um, and check back and when it's dry, then you can remove it from the grid. My vest is dry, so I'm going to remove the pins here and we're going to take a look. I just want to show you how this all turned out and how great blocking is. See, look, the sweater maintains the same shape now. It's not like it bounces back after you remove all the pins, so it maintains its shape really well. So there is my blocked sweater vest now. It lays flat. I'm gonna hang it up now and I'll show you what it looks like hanging on a hanger. All right, here's the sweater now. It just looks so much nicer. You know, the areas where we picked up stitches for the ribbing, just everything's kind of flattened out. The stitches just look more even. And it's gonna fit me so much better because it is blocked to certain measurements. So that is how I wet block my garments. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video.